Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So today we have loads of stuff to do. I need to make sure we have enough food for the sheep, which I recently purchased. Um, the thing with the sheep is they do take quite a bit of feed, but luckily not much of each type. It is just grass or hay. And then of course they have the water as well, which you'd expect. Since they are living things, it's always fair to give them water. Although the chickens don't seem to take water, which is interesting, because in real life chickens really do need a lot of water to survive, um, as does any living creature. So, yeah, I'm not too sure why you don't have to give them water. Anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. So today what we're going to do is start the new pallet. It's not going to take too long to do this because there are only two boxes here. And in fact, it's not really worth even stacking any because otherwise I'm going to be taking a partially filled one um, out of the fill point. So, yeah, we'll just put it over here in preparation. Good. So actually, what I need to do is uh, get a different tractor. There are these very lovely Ford tractors which are available. Obviously much older than the new Holland which we currently have. But that is actually a good thing. Because if we can get one with very low hours, it's going to be still an upgrade. Since the horsepower is going to be higher and, well, the price is going to be much lower. So my plan is to actually change the new Holland today for this Ford. And then go for a John Deere in the very near future. Uh, of course it would mean selling both the new Holland and the case tractors. Um, but that's not really going to matter too much since, yeah, they are both ready to be replaced anyway. I've kept them for the whole series so far, except for the case, which has been in since, I think, uh, roughly episode 10-ish, I think. But, um, yeah, it is time that we had a bit of a change, just to uh, freshen things up a bit. Yes, the new Holland is 32,000, so I'm sure we can get a higher horsepower tractor for less than what we're going to get for this. So, of course, we'll keep the weight. We do need to keep the weight, although... You can get a weight for the Ford, which is very nice. Um, I do have a weight lined up for it. I can keep the weight over there, though, for our following tractor, which will be a John Deere. But then again, the John Deere might want to have its own John Deere colour. <laughs> I don't know. So, just to see, it will cost $9 to repair this, okay. I must have very recently done it. Uh, and its value is 39532 Very good. Um, right, so it's gone. Which is sad to see, but it was time for it to go. It's had its use, and it is only 100 horsepower. I do need to get something a bit higher. So uh, I'm going to go for something like a... Is it an 8340? I think it is. Let's just see here. There's loads of different customizations, And the thing which is in our favor here is just the, the age of it. It's a higher spec, but because it's older, it's depreciated. So um, it could be very helpful. Nokian tires, Michelin tires. It's adding quite a bit of value. Oh, wow, look at that. That's very nice, actually. Looks good. Um, yeah, I'll probably go for some some wide tyres. Does that add a weight? Uh, it's doing something to the inside of the rim. Is it just a different rim type? I'm not too sure. Anyway, yes, I want to go for the 8340 just here. As you can see, the model number is changing as we go. 8240, 8340, nice. And there is also a design option here as well. It's changing the air filter positioning, like a, a snorkel sort of thing. But it still looks good. However, not really necessary, so we're going to get rid of it. So that means we're going to get £18,700 uh, deducted from our bank account for buying this, but still it is a 125 horsepower tractor. This is not the only expense though. I do need to also purchase the row crop tires for it. I'm assuming we can put row crop tires on it. Hopefully we can do. Otherwise it's going to be uh, a bit of an issue when it comes to doing the spraying and spreading. I'll spend the money now, but probably not here. That'd be a waste of money. Uh, since the mechanic is going to charge us about a thousand pounds extra just so they can do the wheels for us. We have the knowledge, so there's no point paying more. So yeah, there we go. The Ford Tractor, 8340, looks good. Really pleased to have it in the game. Um, and of course, really pleased to have it in the Let's Play. Like I said, I do want to get a John Deere tractor very soon. I definitely can't afford it yet. I can already tell by looking at my bank account. I think the cheapest John Deere is going to be at least £150,000, probably even more, um, because they are expensive. John Deere's are not cheap. And the game does reflect the price quite well. Uh, right, okay, so if the lag will allow me, there we go. Customize. Go on to the wheel setup. It's probably 
in a different category here. Michelin. There we go. It's actually free. That is free, so I don't need to do it. No point wasting money. Or wasting time. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so that would be something if you wasted money doing something for free. Weird. Okay, so that's good. That's very good. We'll keep it on these tyres. They're good wheels. Time to do some farming. Um, I suppose I should just show you the price of the John Deere first. Medium tractor, the first medium tractor I've purchased. If it was a 6M, it'd be 120,000 plus extras. Um, but I'm probably going to go for the 6R, which is 228. So when the horses are ready, this is the tractor I'm going to buy. Possibly a higher model number, not too sure. It's just between the uh, 50 and the 30. So yeah, we'll see. We'll just have to take a look in the future and see what the best option is. But I also need to get a new combine harvester. So there's loads of stuff I need to save up for. More live streams to come to be able to boost our bank account balance. And yeah, I think things are going pretty well overall. Uh, some of you may think it's a bit strange that I've downgraded from a newer tractor to an older one, but there are definitely good benefits here. So that's why I've done it. Okay, so um, the other thing I need to get is a baler. I'm not too sure if now is a good time to do that. I'll probably do the mowing first. Because uh, there is a field over there that needs to be baled. I might just pick it up with the loading wagon in a future video. So, yes, for today, we need to get some hay, or just some grass, cut and given to the sheep. So I'm going to go for the piece of field just here, and also the piece which is behind the paddock. I wonder how the tractor is going to perform. Um, yes, the crop destruction, I think, has been removed from the grass, if I'm not mistaken. Crop destruction on. Yes, I think it has been. So that's good because before I was actually crushing uh, the, the grass before mowing it, and in real life it would just flatten it, it wouldn't actually uh, eliminate it. So I'm aware that this piece here is just a little bit of extra. Not a great deal. But it's worth cutting it so. I do this and then I go around the other side and cut the main bulk of the field. It's not going to produce much grass, but it is going to be enough to be able to fulfill the requirements of the sheep and also anyone else who wants some grass. I think the horses do want hay, so I might have to do some telling in just a couple of areas. Well there we go, that is the majority of the field all cut. There are a few areas which are a bit too uneven to be able to get an even cut. Uh, it just basically stops cutting if it's really uneven. But yeah, it's good enough. That's most of it done. So this entire section is going to be rode up and picked up with the loading wagon and given straight to the sheep. I think the sheep are going to be the ones who really do take just the grass. No point wasting time turning it to hay if it's just not even necessary. Um, but the tiny piece over the far side is going to be turned to hay, so I'm going to have to ted that in a few minutes' time. So, yeah, first things first, I grab the windrower, row it up, and sort out the sheep. I think the sheep overall are actually pretty good, except for lacking grass. Uh, yeah, this one here. Yep, lacking grass, but otherwise very good. Cleanliness is okay. Shouldn't be too difficult to sort out. Anyway, I was browsing the mod sites again, and I was on Mod Hoster, and I discovered a mod which allows you to basically have a completely different stable. It's not this stable, it's a building, and you can actually get manure off the horses, which you can't do in the base game, uh, which I think is a very, very good idea. Because horses can poo, it's, it's amazing, but they can do. <laughs> um, this game doesn't allow you to get manure off the horses, and as many people have said in my previous videos, uh, there's absolutely no reason really why you wouldn't be able to get the horse muck from the horses to put on the fields. 
because um, as a lot of people have quite rightly pointed out you get the horse muck for your allotment or whatever um, to make a more nutritious soil for whatever it is you're growing um, so yeah there really is absolutely no reason why you wouldn't want to do it on arable land I'm sure unless there is a reason I don't know but um, yeah it would be so nice to be able to do that that you can do it with this particular mod but you do have to have a different stable but that's not a bad thing because it's actually a really good looking stable uh, which is very nice yeah so I'm just going to continue here I've got plenty to do again it would be nice to have a larger windrow instead of the single one I can look into the pricing of the next size up I can imagine it is going to be quite expensive uh, actually that's not too bad in fact that's very good 23 Yep, that's, that is very impressive. I wouldn't mind using that. It requires less horsepower as well. Hmm. Well, I might just go and buy that, because that is going to be a very big help. I have been struggling with this very small Pottinger. And if it's big enough, the next one I could actually use that in some missions or some contracts, because then we should be able to eventually do the mowing missions with our own stuff, our own equipment. That will be very interesting. Okay, so yeah, back over to the store. I can sell it there, but I don't think you get more for it. Though now I'm not too sure. Maybe you do. Well, I'll just take a look and see what price we can get for it. It's not going to be anything substantial anyway. It's only 10,000 new. I say only, because uh, as we know, machines are not cheap. Oh, it's still worth 8,500. Eight seven dollars to repair <laughs> I don't think that was really worth it but there we go um, so that's going to go towards our next one uh, I think it is definitely worth getting this Kuhn SR314 the size of it is massive eight point something meters yeah so it's a more what do you call it a more traditional style the older style of uh, rake It looks good though, mainly because it, it looks so, well, interesting. Hard to describe. Just an interesting looking piece of equipment. It really does suit the Ford. Yeah, I'm very pleased to got the Ford. It's a decent looking tractor. And for those of you who wanted a John Deere, don't worry, it's coming in the future. Unless, of course, I get bombarded with people saying, oh, no, don't get a John Deere, get a Massey Ferguson, in which case I'll happily say, yeah, <laughs> we'll go for a Massey Ferguson, but no. Um, yes, yeah, so that would be cruel, because I know that a lot of people have been begging for a John Deere. So, yeah, I'll have to stick to what I said. But eventually, we should be able to get more than two tractors. But the next priority is actually the Combine Harvester. Look at the size of that swath. Yeah, it's a really interesting-looking thing. very satisfying to watch. Hopefully it can rake in some of the leftover hay from last time. It will convert it over to the new crop type, which is of course grass, because that is the uh, dominant flavour. Yeah, not really a flavour. Although it would be a flavour to the animals. Grass instead of hay. I'm talking rubbish. Okay, so yep, yeah, just going to continue here, get this done, it shouldn't take us too long now, we've got a big piece of equipment, and then, uh, yeah, time to pick it all up with the loading wagon. Oh yeah, and for those of you who wanted me to call the horses different names after some of my viewers, it's still on the cards, we're going to be doing that in the future, so stay tuned, and hopefully very soon, we're going to have horses named after... Obviously only certain viewers, because there's only... How many horses do we have? Two, four, six, eight. About eight horses. So unfortunately, out of the... Uh, how many subscribers? 480,000, is it? Uh, only eight people are going to get a name on a horse. So it's unfortunate, but I can't really have almost half a million horses. Besides, probably half of my subs are actually uh, like dormant. Because you do, you get you, you acquire subs over time, and then they won't all necessarily watch every video because what well, they don't. Because I think my average is about forty thousand viewers um, per video. 
almost finished. I do want to cut some more trees down as well in the future, but that'll likely be in a live stream, uh, since it does take quite a bit of time just to load up the logs and stuff. So it's a good opportunity for me to just do a bit of chatting while the questions come piling in, as I've noticed in the live stream chat, which is very good. I also need to level this off as well in the future because it's actually uh, well, dangerous. It's annoying and dangerous. A big cliff. Is it going to fit? Oh, it's going to be so close. No, it's not going to fit. Okay, so I'll just finish off. That's the thing. It is a good sized machine, but even for this very small piece of land it's sort of too big but then the other one was very small uh, although yeah in real life the other one's perfectly big enough good right okay so that's folding up and now grab the loading wagon pick it all up give it to the sheep and then finally we'll finish off that very small section just over here although actually maybe it's worth tedding that first while it's drying out yeah makes sense this is now going to take up more space with it being a bigger implement. Back into here. There we go. Yeah, not too much more space. The tether is big enough. Uh, I don't think the tether needs to be changed for a while. When it's unfolded, it's much bigger than the windrow we had. we go. Just a nice fast job. And the key is not to leave any grass behind otherwise if you catch a piece of grass when you first start you actually pick up an entire load of grass even if you turn it to hay so it's something to uh, watch out for. Uh, in fact it's what I failed at the first time I did this. In 17 I think what it did is it converted back halfway through or it just didn't allow you to pick up a different material. But in 19, it would appear that you can uh, actually just uh, convert whatever material you're picking up as you go, if that makes sense. So say we were 50% full of grass, we could then continue picking up hay, but it would convert it to, to grass. The same as if it was grass converting to hay. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably trying to make it sound complicated, but it is relatively simple. And I think that is pretty much it done. We now have three egg boxes, so, well, there's no point stacking anything on the pallets yet, but in the future what I'm going to do is have as many pallets as possible, put them on the Stuart trailer, and then take it all over to the sell point at a great demand, and, well, make tens of thousands of pounds in one go. And believe it or not, making tens of thousands of pounds with eggs is actually relatively easy, which is surprising, because they're just eggs, but, yep, they are worth a very decent amount of money. Kind of like the uh, the wool in 17 and the silage in 15. Okay, I'm done. That can be rolled up in a few minutes, but first we need to pick up the grass. Mr. Sniff, don't run out in front of us. Put it back in here. Yeah, so the next live stream I do is hopefully going to be on this map again, because uh, I'm trying to progress as much as possible so that we can expand the farm, uh, get more land and stuff. Obviously we need to get a new combine harvester. I really do want to get the class Lexian, but of course we have to buy it instead of just miraculously having it. It was just a demo thing before. Okay, so we have some straw. Three and a half thousand litres of straw. Hopefully the horses take it. Otherwise we're going to have to dump it in the yard. Good, thank you horses. And we can go straight over here and pick up the grass. Like I say, it's going to go directly into the uh, sheep's feeding trough. I don't know how much they're going to take, but I'll give them whatever they need. And it'll be time to pick up some hay.
Okay, so the sheep trough is full, the loading wagon is full, and I don't think horses take grass. Nope, they have to have hay, so uh, there's nothing I can really do here except for sell it. So, yep, over to the sell point. By the time their trough is empty uh, or requiring refilling, the grass will have regrown, so there's absolutely no point in keeping it. It would just be a waste of space. So we might as well get the money for it. There's probably about 40,000 litres of grass, maybe even 50,000. I'm guessing the barn is the place to go to. Wow, yeah, at 217. Decent price. The sunflowers are going to be harvested in either the next episode or the next live stream. Hopefully, the next live stream, um, because it's always good to get things done pretty quickly in our live stream instead of uh, time lapsing it in a video. But I think we're about to make a fair bit of money here from this load and the following load. Yep, that money is going up pretty quickly. Could be a few thousand pounds here. For a bit of mown grass, that is, uh, is decent. 4995. That is very good. Okay, so back for the next one. I don't know if I need to actually windrow the hay. Uh, which is going down the side there. Obviously I need to window the piece over there, but there's a piece which goes down the side of the horse paddock. I'm hoping not to have to do that. Not that it would be a big job in the first place, but yeah, you know, it, it takes a little bit longer. A bit more diesel, although I'm not really worried about diesel. It seems to be uh, pretty cheap overall. I keep thinking those sheep are really crammed in. There seems to be an awful lot of sheep in one area. Still, at least they're outside getting fresh air. Good, okay, that's done. Uh, so I wonder if I could be really sneaky here and try and convert it to hay. I'll have to empty it first, so there's probably not much point. Nah, I, I won't do that, although it probably would work if I was to uh, create a big pile of it first. Now I go over to the cell point, we get rid of these 10,000 litres of uh, grass and then come back for the hay and finish off with that. Now, I probably should have said at the beginning of the episode, but I haven't done a survival roleplay video because I have been super busy with other stuff, and I've been just trying to take a little bit of a break for Christmas and New Year. Uh, so, yeah, survival roleplay does take a lot of time to make, uh, so I'm going to be returning with that in a few days' time. Uh, I'm not going to say a day because I might not be able to stick to it, but, yeah, hopefully within the next week, and I should be able to go at it full-on again. So... Yep, that's the reason why. I think some people do think that it just <laughs> miraculously appears on their subscription feed and it doesn't take too long to make, but it does. I know that there are a ton of people who do appreciate it and understand it. In fact, everybody appreciates it, I think. It's just some people don't quite realise the amount of time it takes to make. So, yeah, thank you to everybody who has been uh, very supportive of uh, that series in particular. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, it, it does. It takes, well, it can take anywhere between two hours and seven to eight hours to make a, a, an episode it just depends how much work I put into it um, you can probably tell which ones don't take as long to make well actually I think two hours is probably yeah that's a bit too short yeah I think minimum of three hours to uh, to record and edit it if you were taking into account rendering and uploading it would be even longer anyway there we go that's two two three one nice anyway it's looking a bit more like a farmyard now because we have two sheds and some other buildings as well. It's getting there. Slowly but surely. And hopefully eventually we can expand outwards if we can buy this neighbouring field for number 19. Uh, right, so we've been using the Ford quite a bit today. I'm going to use the case tractor for this final job. Just for a bit of variety. Oops. Yep, there's a bit of variety. The comedy for the episode. And we're going back over to this, uh, this Windra or rake, should I call it a rake? Yeah, I can't even get it up there anyway, I don't think. I don't think I can fit the, uh, the rake up to the side. I suppose it might fit. I'll try it. Looking good, though. Yeah, I think if I don't row it up, it's going to be quite tricky to uh, pick up. Much neater. 
Okay, so just uh, that final section over there, and then we'll be ready to pick it up again and give this to the horses. So yeah, it's 2019 in a few days' time. In fact, in a couple of days' time. Hopefully you've been... Uh, hopefully you've had a good year. Uh, hopefully 2019 is uh, an even better year. Especially if it's been a bad year for you. 2018. But... Uh, well, I can thankfully say that 18 has been a pretty good year for me, so I'm very thankful for that. Hopefully it is the same for everybody else. In whichever way good things can happen. If it's not been a good year, then uh, very sorry to hear that. And yeah, really do hope the 19 is better for you. So there we go. We are done missed a bit. Still, it's not too much of an issue. Fold things up, use the loading wagon once again, and uh, well, I'll probably keep the rest of the hay actually in the loading wagon for the future. No point selling it because there's nothing else to go in here until we have to do the straw. So we'll just keep it in here until it's used uh, for future material. Yeah, looking good. Spin it quite quickly. This is for you, horses. Appreciated. Wow, there is quite a bit of it. Surprising. I haven't even fertilised it. Almost there. I do a few bits here and there just to pick up. Might as well do, because otherwise it's just a complete waste. Uh, although I'm not really massively bothered about wasting grass or, or hay, because it is just growing. We don't have to re-drill it, it just keeps coming back. So it's not a huge issue. Uh, but yeah, that will do nicely. There we go. Again, I'm not too sure how much they actually require. The main purpose of mowing today was for the sheep. But yeah, the sheep will take hay as well. Wow, they're taking loads. Good, wow. Well, let's take a look at this. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Very good indeed. So, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.